This is the story of Samantha Peer as well as her husband losing their teaching jobs for making explicit OnlyFans videos at the school in the classroom that she works in. And now this is her attempt to gain sympathy for the stupid decision she made. Y'all definitely gotta stay tuned for this one. Hello, my name is Samantha Peer, or some of you might know me by my alias, Chloe Carter. Man, this is the definition of a cautionary video. Wait till y'all hear this shit. I was an employee at Thunderbolt for five years. Which is a high school in Arizona. And within this time, although my experience and evaluation showed that I had become a master science specialist and teacher, my salary did not increase. Here we go. This is the part where they start making excuses for their flat out dumb decisions. In this time period, I had to continue picking up extra stipends in order to make ends meet, such as co-advisor to yearbook club, STEM club advisor, I was mentoring a group of four uncertified new teachers and was going to coach softball in the spring. It got to a point where our family was not able to survive on our two teacher incomes. Oh, and did I mention that her husband was also a teacher? And trust and believe me, I know many that survive with less. My children are the most important thing to me, and I'm already spending countless hours outside of my contract time on extra school activities, and I don't think it's fair that I have to sacrifice how do you say I'm reading this without saying I'm reading this? Keep watching, it get even worse. My own children's time, because our professional salary did not pay enough. Arizona is currently ranked 50th state as lowest paid teacher salary. I created a content at the beginning of the summer in order to earn extra money on the side to help pay for our basic necessities that our salaries were no longer meeting. I wonder what kind of content that is. I chose an anonymous name as well as blocking the entire state of Arizona on my OnlyFans so that it wasn't accessible to anyone living in the state. It was brought to my attention on October 24th that a community member had expressed concerns to the police and my school regarding video content. At this time, I was placed on paid administrative leave and probation pending investigation. Two days later, I had asked that an individual that was assigned to my case be removed because they had created a hostile work environment between me and other coworkers for several years during my employment. I did not feel safe with them knowing this information and I felt that they would spread it in retaliation for their own personal vendetta. Hey, if they did, you gave them the ammunition. On October 31st, I decided to resign from Lake Havasu Unified School District under pressure However, I was not fired. The superintendent ensured me that only her, the individual that was removed from my case, and my mm -hmm. own family were aware of the situation and content, and told me that if I had resigned before the board meeting on Monday, October 31st, um, the school would not publicize what was going on. On November 2nd, my husband was put on paid administrative leave because faculty reported pictures of myself that were being spread amongst other teachers. The following Friday, November 4th, my husband was terminated from the elementary school because he is classified as a long-term sub and he has an at-will contract. The superintendent stated he can be let go for no reason at all. So making a sexual OnlyFans video in a school classroom that you teach in is considered no reason. Like my boy Kevin Samuel say, I can't make this shit up. It wasn't until Sunday, November 6th, when I had not been a teacher for the school district for six days, that my social media used for advertising became viral. November 6th was the first day that previous students and community members began following my alias accounts. Other school teachers were notified of the site and they began to spread it amongst themselves. Those teachers also were telling students my anonymous name and showing them my page. Lies, baby girl. It was the students who that you performed sexual acts on who reported the page. But I keep letting you dig a deeper hole. This was also sent to the parents, and they decided to do the same thing as well. They were sharing my anonymous name and content page with their children and allowing them to comment. Now, I know good and well she's not trying to blame the parents. This woman has no shame. And follow all my accounts, although they are specifically labeled as not safe for work, 18 plus only. Students were never aware of my social medias, nor did they follow me until after I had resigned from the district on October 31st and went locally viral on November 6th. There go another lie. It wasn't until November 9th that these links were available on my personal social medias due to state news coverage. 
Parents are still allowing their students to follow, contact, harass, and intimidate me. These parents are posting my personal address online and threatening to show my under, underage children revenge porn. Well, I guess you better keep a close eye on them. Should have thought of that before you decided to get freaky at the school. Community members are now going to public places such as my gym and threatening to cancel the membership because their children also go there. The gym owner, owner chose to terminate my membership, although I had been a member for four years, because other juvenile members were harassing me by taking my picture and videotaping me while I was trying to work out. Wow, no accountability. Now she blaming the kids? The video that was created and advertised was made after contract hours on the weekend. No minors were ever present or involved in, in the videos. <laughs> she even see how stupid that sounded. I am already paying the consequence by losing my teaching certificate as well as lo losing the job that I loved most. I thoroughly enjoyed working with my coworkers, teaching my students science, and it brought joy to me every day. Looking back at the situation, I wholly regret creating the video in the classroom after school hours. But I felt trapped in my financial situation, and I felt this was the only way that my family would be able to survive. So making the OnlyFans sex video was the only way y'all could think of to make more money. Come on, man. However, I do not believe that my name should be smeared throughout the community when I made one mistake that didn't affect anybody until other adults began allowing children access to my content. It has been quite concerning to me that parents are continuing to allow their children to comment, harass me and my family, and threaten myself as well as others connected to my social media, as well as follow pages that they knew themselves are not appropriate for minors. Man, I can't take no more of this shit. I done heard enough. Now this video, as well as all the other ones I make, was not made to intentionally embarrass anyone. As most of you know, everything I make is to relay a message. So with that being said, taking accountability is super rare these days. Instead of making smarter decisions, they just put the blame on anything they could think of. So I figure the only way to get the message across is to hold the mirror up to you and let you look at it yourself. Y'all tell me what you think in the comments below. And until we meet again, it's Ro. Y'all bless.